Good morning. It's 6.30. Just gone 6.30. I'm in Budapest. And I've been away for a while. I think I'm ready to go home now. And not in a bad, unaccomplished way. I actually feel that I'm quite inspired to get back into my life properly and get back into my work and I do feel re-energized I, I feel yeah I feel like I want to get back to that and um, and that's a good thing because I haven't wanted to work for a while so I guess on that note it's um, this is really positive and I'm, I'm excited I'm thinking about doing projects I mean don't get me wrong there's obviously a uh, there's a need to start earning some money but if I want to do the things I want to do in my life, we all need money, right? So I can't just ignore it forever and just be like, oh, I'll be all right, I'll rely on some savings. So, um, so yeah, I'm kind of, I'm quite, ex I'm, I'm, am I excited? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited to go home, to be honest. And it's great being in hotels all the time and doing this, but, you know, I, I want to, I want to make my little home, my little safe space, and I want to feel nice and comfortable there and I want to get back into my boring little average life and um, and enjoy it and I think you know and the whole I, I know I've been moaning about relationship issues for the uh, this whole fucking video but this whole series but I think you know if I'm if I want to this may sound shallow and stuff but as a traditional type person which I think I am if I want to you know, attract a decent spouse. I've got to be a a good catch, and I'm not going to do that just wafting around and fucking about. So, I want to be. I want to go home. I want to sort my shit out, and I want to become a provider, a proper provider, not only for my son now, but for any sort of future family that I may have. So, yeah, I'm kind of um, I'm ready. It feels it feels ready. I don't feel like I'm cutting it short or disappointed. So, now's the time. And, um, yeah, I won't get there today, but, um, yeah, I'm going to start, I'm going to start going. So anyway, let's talk more about this on the bike. Guten Morgen, which isn't Hungarian. She survived the night. Good parking. Uh, again, which hotel is this? The Vision Hotel in Budapest. It was fine. It was reasonably good value compared to everything else. The parking was good, no breakfast included, and the staff were a little bit miserable. Um, but I think maybe that's the Hungarian way. So I won't judge. I mean, I'd be miserable if I had to be up at 6.30. It's now 7.22 a.m. Oh, we need fucking dick shanks. And we're beginning the long ride home now. Oh, how do I get out of here? I guess I'll just go and see what happens. How do you fucking do it? Fuck's sake. I'm not paying, it's free. Clip jib 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 jib. 8,400. Well, they can fuck off, I'm not paying. Come on then. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not paying. I'm going to go and cause a fuss. <laughs> Honestly, it's the earliest I've been out. I've got a 12-hour ride today on the motorway. Hello. Uh, it won't let me out the car park. Thank you. I told you she was miserable. The, anyway, whatever. She should tell me that, shouldn't she? Before I got all my shit down there. Hello. Right now I've got a sweat on. Is this where the bike is? Yay! Right, let's try that again. Are you glad you're wasting your days watching a middle-aged man just try to get out of a car park? Like you could be with your family, your friends, your girlfriend, your cherished loved ones, but instead you're hiding in the toilet, having a shit, watching a man put on his gloves. Oh, and I haven't put my fucking sat nav in the fucking duck, 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 duck. Now, one step at a time, let's get out the fucking car park first. 
tank level reached, I know. Thank you. Stupid fucking beautiful day. Yeah, so I'm ready to go home and get back into my life. I'm kind of tired of being on the road and I want to... I want to have some roots, man, and improve my life where I am in my little house. You know, it's, it's been an amazing experience to travel and see all these places and do all these things, but when I'm... Like yesterday, I was like, oh, where shall I go today? I was like, Budapest, that sounds cool. And you've got to ask yourself the question, do you want to go there because you actually want to go there or just because it sounds like a cool thing to do that you can say to people, if you know what I mean? And I think that's what this is about for me, is actually trying to discover what, what it is that I like, what it is that I want to do, and not just what would be the thing to do. I'm sure it's millions of people's um, idea of a great weekend to come to Budapest. And it's been fantastic, and the buildings and everything, it is a really nice city to walk around. And it's great, but do, you know, have I wanted to come here for the last 10 years? No, I haven't really, it's like, oh, okay, well, yeah, maybe. So what do I actually want to do? And I think when you find the answer to those questions, life should be a little bit easier. And even if all logic points to, what do you mean you don't want to go to Budapest? You're right next door, you may as well go. Go and have fun and enjoy yourself. I don't really like going out to bars and shit anymore. Like, I, I honestly, I prefer to get a pizza, a big bottle of Coke Zero, and play <laughs> Sid Meier's Civilization all night. <laughs> and watch a bit of Netflix, have a wank, and go to sleep. Like, brilliant. That's what I like doing. But it's not very cool to do that, is it? I think it's about deciding that cool is not cool, if you know what I mean. And if your friends or group of friends or partner or whatever doesn't like the things that you like doing and thinks they're lame, then find, find someone, find other people to hang out with. So yeah, I want to go back home, I want to sort my businesses out and cherish what I've got. See my beautiful son, I can't wait to see him and be a better dad, and be a happier dad. So what have we learned in terms of mental health? Hmm. I, again, I'm not a doctor before I start saying any of this stuff, and you believe me. This is just my own thoughts and observations. Sometimes it's quite, I think it's quite easy to get stuck in your own comfort zone. And that comfort zone, actually over time, unless you start pushing the boundaries of it, <clears throat> I think it gets less comfortable. I think it's, I think it's, a, sh it's a constantly shrinking circle, constantly shrinking. And the longer you stay in it, the more it shrinks. So I think you've got to do things in your life to, to push the boundaries, to, to, to stretch that ring piece open a bit. And, you know, batter at the... Uh, batter at the yawning spider's walls oh no I don't want to go down there to to stop it from closing up you, don't, you want a gaper basically <laughs> and I, I, I mean this takes it's years it takes sat in your comfort zone doing nothing for it to shrink up and and you know seal shut but I think every now and again you just need to do some things which do put you out of your comfort zone so then but not even put you out of your comfort zone. You're testing the boundaries, aren't you? And would I go away during a breakup? Probably not, in hindsight. I think that was a bad idea. I think it probably would be good if, uh, if you were with a mate. Um, but it is what it is, so it's a lesson learned. And look, I'm here to make all these mistakes so you don't have to. Yeah, so I think mental health, yeah, it's good to push the boundaries. Some problems you can't run away from, and I think that was another uh, naivety on my part. I was like, hey, well, you know, I'll just be traveling, so I won't think about stuff, but actually, what happens is just sat on the bike for 10 hours a day, <laughs> and that's all you do, is think about stuff. So you can't outrun your own sick thoughts. <laughs> well expensive here, isn't it? 
Oh, let's park next to the Rosas. Right, catch up with you in a sec. The Rosas were nice. They said hello. Yes, they've got my favourite disgusting synthetic drink. And in a bid to stop it getting too hot in this black luggage, I tend to ride, this is my snack pouch, <laughs> and I tend to ride with this side open so it sucks the hot air out. Clever girl. Have we had enough faffery for one morning? We've only been on the bike eight minutes. 11 hours 43. And that's just to Saarbrücken, which is a good, Saarbrücken I like to stop at before I get back to the UK, just because it's a, um, it's a really good travel time up to Calais and then a couple of hours obviously UK side to get home. Got a long way to go today Chrissy, but you're going home. You're going to see your boy. And I can't wait. If I have any more thoughts of wisdom on this way home, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to tell you. Oh, <laughs> I haven't done my fucking chin strap up. <laughs> Brilliant. Fucking God's sake! <laughs> the faffery is real. What other words of wisdom can I give you? I think don't be scared to, to come away. Uh, well, you can be, I mean, you, you will be scared, but the reality is there's not a lot to be scared of. If you come away on a, you know, a superbike and you're going to go speeding everywhere and you don't want to get in trouble in a in Serbia, for example, it's not going to go down well. So you should be scared of that, but then you shouldn't act like a dick either. So, But other than that, if you're a, a decent human being, what's there to be scared of? Yes, you might have some terribly bad luck, but you know, people aren't out to, like, as, as much as you think, people aren't out to just harm you. Nobody gives a shit. Like, you can just get on with whatever stuff you've got to get on with. Nobody really cares that much about you. So, don't worry, you're, you're insignificant. And I think, and I don't, I, I don't want that to sound derogatory. I think it's good to remember that you're insignificant. Because it doesn't, because it's, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> at the end of the day, to the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. Hang on, hang on. This way, I was lucky. I think understanding your own, embracing your own insignificance is a, not only is it a humble thing to do, but I think it's calming, because it's like, well, it doesn't matter, you're only you, aren't you? You're, I'm just this little, tiny motorcyclist in that, in that big city. No one really gives a fuck if I'm there or not rather than sitting in your own mind and your own head going everything is here for me I'm in this city for me and it's all about me does that make sense? perhaps anyway right I think we're uh, gonna go fast now so I'll see you later <sighs> halfway through Germany so uh yeah, I'm going to head for Baden-Baden. It's a little bit closer than Saarbrücken. And then maybe go and have a little bit of a blast in the morning and try not to just be quite so miserable and boring about all of this. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Traffic. I've got to get off and have a little break. Come on, traffic light, for fuck's sake, we've been here 20 fucking minutes. Oh, she's got a wobble on. What's the autobahn? Uh, yeah, so this is today's trip. We are at 995.56 kilometres for today, which is a pretty big day in anyone's books. From Budapest to Baden-Baden is uh, quite a ride. That was Hungary, Slovakia, Austria, all the way across Germany, basically. My buttock is absolutely raw. And my arse hole is fine. I'm just going to oh, have a little relax back here, though. Boof! Boof! There we go. Well, I'll do a countdown. 999.7. It's nine one thousand one thousand kilometers 
arrived in what nine and a half hours so it's really weird that I came through here already I've already been through here on this trip it feels like an eternity ago that I was here well I mean I didn't stay here I just sort of came through on the way from Saar Luis to Zurich which was a, again a bit of a long ride but it feels like so much has happened well I have I've been fucking miles since man what a day fucking weird is this but yeah so hopefully I'm gonna uh, stay here for a couple of days I may change hotel and get a cheaper one for tomorrow because I'm a bit worried about money everything seems so clean and sterile compared to Romania <laughs> and quiet it's quite quiet I don't think I've actually been into this part of Baden Baden I know I, I got drunk here with Al on one of the BBBs I think it was BBB Italia 1.4 miles well what Quite fancy a bong tonight, one of those hook, hooker, bub, hub, the, the hooker pipe things, what are they called? Hot, hubbly bubblies. It looks too boring, doesn't it? Like this side of the world. Everyone looks a bit miserable. That's it. Yeah. Uh, how's he got up there? Don't crash through the window while everyone's having dinner. <laughs> That'd be an entrance, wouldn't it? Hi, everyone. Mine's a medium rare. Right, let's just stick it here for a second. Okay, I'll get checked in, get the beer on, and I'll come and talk to you in a bit. Bye. I'm in. That's, that's the corridor, which is actually pretty cool as well. This is uh, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm not going to tell you how expensive it was, because it was really expensive. Um, but it's really nice. And this is a junior suite, so I can sit here and I can do some work. Uh, and I'm here for two days, and this is the last hotel that I'm gonna stay in uh, before going home. So, fuck it, it's gonna be nice, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Especially after riding a thousand miles. And I, I, I guess I saved another couple of hundred euros in another hotel in Austria, so on the way. This is the bathroom. This is like a wet room shower, so you can basically stand here in the shower and then you can just pebble dash the, uh, the glass or sit in the bath and do the same. It's alright if you're an attractive person, but if you look like me and you're in the shower and you're sort of washing behind your foreskin and there's an attractive girl in there, you don't really want them to see that. But this is nice. I like how thick the doors are. But yeah, I mean, I'm not going to recommend staying here on a bike trip just because it's really fucking expensive. Uh, but there is underground parking. And I can sit here and I can, I don't know, what's this? Some sort of knobs. Yeah, I'm going to have a shower now. And um, there's a rooftop bar. So I'm going to go up there, have a beer, decompress and... Just get on with the rest of my fucking life. Anyway, thanks for bearing with me for this trip, guys. I know it's been uh, the up, ups and downs. You probably feel like you've been through it as, <laughs> as well. But uh, I think I think this is it now. I think, I'm, I think I'm good. I think I'm getting my shit together. So that's what we wanted when we left. So, right, let's go and get a drink.